In today's episode, we're exploring part of an abandoned religious college that shut down several years ago. The building itself is a beautiful example of Art Deco from the 1930s and features a terracotta clad exterior with statues and sculpted motifs that wouldn't look out of place atop a New York City skyscraper. Inside, we found much of the space had been cheaply modernized, but fortunately, there were a few spaces that retained their original appeal. Join us as we venture inside and see what's left. Thanks to Trade Coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Trade Coffee is a coffee subscription service that partners with top independent roasters to send the best fresh coffees in the country directly to your home. Whether you already know what you like or are new to specialty coffee and need some help, Trade makes it easy and convenient to discover new coffees. Trade sent me the Necessary Coffee Colombia, Costa Rica La Minita, and the Gimme Coffee Guatemala. Lately I've been brewing with an espresso machine and they taste fantastic. But even with the classic pour over, the flavors come through and all make a great cup of coffee. With the holidays approaching, Trade Coffee is the perfect gift for loved ones. They make it easy with their digital gifting options or their coffee and equipment bundles. Right now, Trade Coffee is offering our viewers a total of $30 off a subscription and access to limited holiday specials at drinktrade.com slash proper people. Trade is the easiest way to get your very best tasting coffee delivered fresh. Go to drinktrade.com slash proper people. It's got those uh, eight by eight asbestos floor tiles. Non friable at least. Dining room. Very Pretty modernized. Yeah, it is. All the chairs and tables are still in those. Check out the original wall behind the paneling. Looks so much oh, nicer. Oh wow! They covered up the brick with wood paneling. Wow. I would never understand why stuff like that gets covered up in favor of this cheap looking paneling. Yeah. It's probably 70s when it looked more modern. Yeah. This room says, do not enter. Alarm system is on. Gonna need you to take the lead here. Okay, it's dark. It's all drop ceiling in here as well. These were exterior windows at one point. Absolutely no photographs. Is that what it says? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these here would have been huge windows. I wonder if there was a courtyard where this library was. Yeah, there was. definitely would have been, and then they enclosed the first floor of it. Yep. For what looks like the library. It's always really ugly now. What's this to the right? Classroom. This looks pretty decent still. Yeah. The windows aren't chopped off by drop ceiling. This half has a raised floor. Look at this thing. It's like um, pull down maps. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's see if I can reach. How do you make these stay? Oh, you just don't go all the way. There we go. 
The land of Palestine in biblical times. Uh oh, political word. Yeah, that's the f- controversial, the controversial <laughs> first map to pull down here. <laughs> Let's see what's on the next one. It's going to be something more controversial. Before the Israelite conquest. Yeah, it's getting worse. Uh oh. <laughs> You can check this out right here. Cool lobby here. Look at the details on the store frame. Really nice. Art Deco. Yeah. It's like a religious brand of Art Deco. Art Deco mixed with religious motifs. It's pretty cool. This is nice. Oh wow. Very pink. I wonder if this was the original library. It might have been. A lot of shelves. These are all built into the walls. Looks like there's a chapel through that window. Faces on the wall here. If only it wasn't as empty as it is, it would be pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, some pews. It's still Art Deco, even in the chapel. All the hard lines on the ceiling are very unique. blow into one of those pipe organ pipes, but I think those people are still right outside. What language is this? There's some decay kicking into high gear up there. But there would have been a chandelier coming from that at one oh, point. Oh yeah. You could see the base of it. <laughs> it's gone, of course. And uh, that's where all the pipes came from, right up there. I wonder what the original accent color was, because I doubt it was pink. But they really kept that pink accent going throughout the whole place. A lot. Yeah. Oh, 
this is a nice classroom. A lot of ceiling details. This is a nice room. Hmm. An old grandfather clock too. That's gotta be worth something. Aren't they supposed to just keep going by momentum? I think they need some source of power. The pendulum just helps it keep time. It doesn't okay. actually yeah. power it. The ceiling's the best part of this room. Student lounges to the left. Definitely been modernized a bit. Oh, this room's kind of nice. Yeah. This is right above the uh, dining hall. These bookshelves are nice. Why does this say torture? A Sully Sullenberger book. The spire is really nice. I made sure it opened. Pretty sick right here. Online with Jesus. No way. <laughs> it's just it's like Holy. one of those original Mac laptops. Yeah. Whole tier. Take this. Oh. Someone's online with Jesus right now. <laughs> More poop. With all this fancy camera equipment to film poop. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty nice up here. This Big art piece. Someone's walking their dog right outside. You see in the trim here, they've got all these different kinds of birds. Eagle, owl, looks like a pigeon or something, or a hawk. It looks like it's just three different birds. Yeah, a hawk, an eagle. Owl, and then two birds of prey maybe. Yeah. This room looks pretty cool back here. There's a skylight that's falling in. It's looking rough. The wood's buckling. 
can get an overview of the chapel from up here. statue on that pedestal right there. Church history. It's all fruity pebbles. Oh, there's folders in here. Story of Black Mass at St. Dorothy's Catholic Church. Sixties. These are all the student dorm rooms. Yeah, there's here. some dorm furniture left, the pads for the mattresses, and some dressers. Computer lab. Any computers? No. Feels like a hospital. Some furniture. One of those college beds. Yeah, they could stack them too high if they wanted to. I feel like we had the exact same ones. Yeah. <laughs> the mattresses and everything. Yep. Obstacle. I just saw a chair that was the same chair we had in our college dorms too. Remember these? Oh, and when you lean really back, it like that. it spooks you for a second and stops. I want to try it out. <laughs> Get some memories back. Yeah, the mini heart attack every time you lean back a little too much. Let's check out the roof. There's no handle. How are you supposed to do this? There we go. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Nice view of the spire though. Gotta get a start. Here, this is a good spot to do it from. Got some distance there. Hey. <laughs> I don't see any bells or anything in that, but we can check. It's locked. Great. Yeah, there's no other door. Let's see your best slide. That's how you operate a steady cam. If you have no footsteps, there's no vibration. All right, let's check out the library. All bags subject to inspection. No 
books left. Oh, what year's the calendar? 2015, okay. 2016 was the... Uh... Yeah, so they probably closed in 2015 and then they kept up with the building for like one year after. And then that was it. It's cool they have a skylight in here. Makes the lighting pretty moody. Damn, someone toppled the statue over here. There's a bunch of microfilm machines over here. Oh, there's still microfilm in here. This whole place is loaded with microfilm. Oh yeah? And the microfilm readers, they don't really go out of date. So I'm sure these could be sold and used somewhere else. Yeah, they just... Yeah. Put just going to waste in here. Put the film through here and it just shines light through and projects on that. Looks down about. Yeah, it's pretty empty thrown about in here. Some film uh, video racks. Overhead projector. <laughs> it's like the Elmo thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Video racks. And a statue in oh, the corner. Oh shit, he's just chilling in the corner. Yeah. Right? <laughs> From when this was originally the courtyard, that was there. Mm, yeah. That was outside. books down here. Hebrew Union College. The Islamic Review. Islamic? Yeah, and Hebrew yeah, on the other That's side. That's interesting. They're all probably just religious journals of some kind. Kind of moldy. Very inclusive library. Yeah, it's so gross. Moldy and dusty. Damn, there's so many books Scottish here. Journal of Theology. There's so many. Wow. These here look pretty old. Holy shit. What's going on with these? Biblical repository. Yeah. What year do you think these are from? Look at the growth on that. I don't know. I'll like have to check one. Gonna be like Wanna try this one? It looks super crusty. Sure. Eighteen seventy. Wow. I've checked with my sources and eighteen seventy was in fact a long time ago. Yeah, there's a lot of books in here. Finally a room with windows. Oh wow. It's a nice room. 
vaults and ceilings. A lot of books in here. And it's all religious. Of course it is. Related. Every single one is a religious book. See that spider web there? Yeah, to the lights between them. Yo, this book is called History of Magic and Experimental Science. What? Magic Virtues, Spurious Mystic Writings of Hermes, Orpheus, and something. This guy wrote a thesis on the study of magic in medieval universities. Hey. What? We're reading this book, right? Sex and the Church. Yeah, this book's all about magic. Magic is here understood in the broadest sense of the word, is including all occult arts and sciences, superstitions and folklore. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Magicians were the first to experiment, and the history of both magic and science can be better understood by studying them together. Womp. Currently, there are no future plans for the building. Hopefully one day it can find future life, but for now, it will continue to fall into decay.